You tired of coughing? Yeah. You tired of all those boogers in your nose? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm hula hooping on Legos. Barefoot. All right, I'm trying it. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Four steps in the Lego fire. Was that fun to watch? Yeah, You want to do it? Does that hurt? So we're just trying to introduce the dogs to the sheep. I think the sheep are more scared of me than they are the pups. Mom was down taking care of the dogs. When she got there, she discovered that they were missing and I can't find them. Did they get underneath the door again? The bottom wasn't tied? Yeah, and that right here. It was, they were, they dug William is now yes. feeling very sick. <laughs> Good morning, Dykes fam. Good morning. Dykes kids over here, what are you doing? School. What kind of school? History. History. Blistery. History. What? Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. I know we did one of these breathing treatments last night, and <laughs> I like, don't know if I would recommend it. <laughs> well, he had explosive diarrhea. Yeah, I think he was like coughing and stuff was better, but it did say it would like flush the virus out through like his mouth. Yeah! And he literally and like went to the bathroom right after he did it, and it was like scary. Yeah, but like honestly, his spirits have been up ever since he did it. Like, even when he went to bed last night, he was happier. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And then he woke up this morning, and he comes out, and he's like, What's up, Willio? Rosie Dyke's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, it was so hilarious. Oh, my gosh. He's on one today. He's the coolest dude. He's Give me got that. his little personality back, huh? Yeah. So we're hoping to be able to do a few of these treatments today and hopefully get his cough under control. Huh, buddy? You tired of coughing? Yeah. You tired of all those boogers in your nose? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so gross. You're sick of everything? <laughs> He's such a cute kid. So if you guys want to learn more about the treatment that we're doing for Roswell, we'll link some information in the description below. But it specifically is for acute respiratory illnesses. And there is tons of research and studies on it that say that it can knock it out super quick. And so anyways, we'll keep you guys updated with that, but we'll link some information below in case you ever need something like that. Or you get the Rona. Or you get the Rona, because they say that it helps a lot with that. But you do have to have a nebulizer in order for this to work. So if you have one of those handy, then all you need is a simple solution and it could do a lot of good for you. We'll keep you guys updated on this little dude. Give me thumbs up. Uh, no, I don't want to kiss your feet. Time to take care of the pups. There's my puppy dogs. Hey puppies, how are ya? Huh? You pups doing good? Let's get you out. Let's go play. Aww. Let's go play. What do you say? Freedom! Let's go pups. Let's go. <laughs> they jump right out that door. William, you jump out that door. Hey, hey, good puppy. Oh my, good puppy. Did you miss me? <laughs> like, no, you don't love her. I want to love her. So we're just trying to introduce the dogs to the sheep. The sheep are a little bit of skittish around them, but just we're gonna slowly build that relationship over time. It might look sunny here, 
but it's a freezing 37 degrees Fahrenheit right now, guys. Yeah. If you want to live on a farm, you got to get up in the cold and feed animals. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that breeze is cutting right through your clothes. Good puppies. That's right, pups. We gotta protect the sheepy. Sheep are our friends. That's right, we gotta live with the sheep. <laughs> good puppy. Come here, Freddy. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. They are so calm around the sheep. I love it. I think the sheep are more scared of me than they are the pups. <laughs> yeah, good snowy. You're going to protect my sheep, huh? Protect Grandpa's sheep, huh? Good puppy. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? What good dogs, man. Good puppies. Good puppies. <laughs> Those are my good pops. You can protect the sheep, huh? And then the water comes, and they can just see the snap. It's insane because there's so much like. You doing your piano lessons? Yeah. <laughs> okay, round two breathing treatment. Hi, buddy. Hi. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Smoke that comes up of that. He still got that dang cough, but he seems to be in pretty good spirits. You doing okay, guy? Mom, kiss it. Adorious. He wants me to kiss his feet. Oh, I just like. No, I'm not kissing your feet. Great. Now I'm gonna get sick. What is Koi working on now? She has her chapter seven math quiz today. You're working on math. The mathematics? Yeehaw! And the teacher's all curled up in a blanket on the couch. It's the best way to be a teacher. You have a rough life, you know that? <laughs> well, what? <coughs> oh, poor guy. Get all those cups up. And what is Tayden doing? Hula hooping on Legos. Okay, stand on top of that and hula. I got special socks on. Yeah, those are actual, actually Lego resistant socks. I'm not breaking <laughs> We should do a challenge where you hula hoop on top of Legos. Oh. I bet that wouldn't feel very good. He's got socks on. Yeah. Socks on. Do you, you think he should take those socks off and try that? No. Try it. I can do it. like a bed and else. William, you can do it? Yeah. All right, go for it. Yeah. Um, these socks are too comfy to take off. Or you're too wimpy to try it. Days. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can do it? Maybe. William, <laughs> hula hooping on Legos, barefoot. All right, I'm trying it. Oh, now Tayden's gonna be brave because his eight-year-old brother showed him how it's done. <laughs> William's actually uh, entertaining his baby bro. I'm putting Poor guy. I'm making it even worse. Putting them all together. What? <laughs> okay, I'm pushing all the way right. together so this is going to be more... Ow! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're next. I, I You're doing it next. Okay. It's like he's got oven mittens on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My turn! Hey, here we go, Nikoi. Go on, Nikoi. Go on, Nikoi. Say go, Nikoi. Go, Carl! Alright, here we go, Nikoi. Wait, do I have to hoop then step on or? No, step on it and then. That's that's the next challenge, is you have to hula hoop while stepping on it. Does that hurt at all? It's not that bad. So it hurts a little bit. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. Yeah, because all the corners are choking. Okay, step off. That's the worst part. Ow, they're stuck on the feet! <laughs> no, that's the worst part when you step what? off because they're. A couple are stuck on your feet. Yay, I did off. it. I did it. Okay, now hula hoop while walking onto it. Like walk across it? Yeah. Yeah, walk across it. <laughs> that was so bad. Ah, how'd yeah. that feel? It was, I mean, it hurt. Oh. Anybody else want to try that? No, I want to walk on it though. Ah, ha, ha. Wow. 
<laughs> we are going to spray disinfectant all over the Legos after because the kids' feet stink. <laughs> William's going to do it? All the corners stick to your feet. Okay. The goal is is to... Nikoi walked four steps in it. So you don't need to spread them out or push, pile them up. Okay, here we go. Watch out, Koi. <laughs> what is gonna inch through? <laughs> <laughs> what kids do for entertainment? This was not my it's idea. Not it's the Lego walk. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. Are you ready? Alright, I'm gonna try it again. Look out. Okay. Okay. Oh, William, are you alright? Oh, my heck. This is turning into a disaster. I love how he does it. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Four steps in the Lego fire. <laughs> Roswell, was that fun to watch? Yeah, you want to do it? <laughs> not right now. Not right. No, no, no. Not hula hoop. Oh my god. Okay. When you get done doing that, you can try it. Okay. Dad, looks. It looks like it got shot in the feet fifteen times. <laughs> got, like red marks all over her foot. No. Here, look at all those little dots. Okay. Roswell, you gonna walk through the Lego fire? Okay, here we go. Does that hurt? Yeah, Ronnie. Oh, gee. You did it. Give me five. Did that hurt? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's doing it again? Roswell is crazy. He's a machine! <laughs> Did that hurt your feet? Dad, there's like um, a red dot. Yeah. Little red dots, huh? Let's see this one. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Yeah, little hole right there. Right there? Yeah. You're crazy, man. He's gonna go again. <laughs> Russell's gone a third time. Russell didn't. It's stuck to your feet, huh? <laughs> he's going for a fourth time. <laughs> yeah, I see it. He's a maniac. You're a maniac, bro. Give me the knuckles. It just keeps going. You won't stop? <laughs> okay, but that's probably enough. <laughs> okay, last time. <laughs> no, hey. <laughs> Don't be a wild man. <laughs> I'm glad to see he's feeling better though. Yeah, hey guys, we've had kind of a busy day. Tate had baseball practice and not really anything worth showing you guys. So I just got home and mom was down taking care of the dogs. When she got there, she discovered that they were missing and she was looking for them and can't find them. I'm headed down to the farm to see if I can find them.
or at least help look for them. But this isn't the first time they've gotten out. They got out a couple days ago and... Oh, she's calling me right now. Hopefully they found them. A few moments later. You little stinkers! You little stinkers! You little stinkers! Look, wait, what happened? So we drove down the shed. We, there was a hole underneath the gate. They dug out. We're calling for them. Normally they come running and they've gotten out a few times and they don't wander far. But we were calling and calling, couldn't find them. So we decided to come down here and check. All of a sudden, we come down here where the sheep are supposed to be. We can't find the sheep. And all of a sudden, Snowy comes running from the shed. And from that shed over there. That, that open door. And we hear, and we're going, where's Freddy? All of a sudden, we hear him just whimpering and howling and barking and whining. We knew something was wrong. And we ran in the snow sh in the shed, and of course, Freddy had gotten in the raccoon trap. <laughs> We've had a raccoon problem in there, and the sheep are really scared of him. But luckily, it was a humane trap, and so he just went in there, and the door closes. But it's kind of small, and poor little Freddy was, like, squished down and stuck in the raccoon trap. Aww. So he is so excited to be out, Come poor here, guy. I know. We have no idea how long they've been in there. No. We haven't seen him in, like, six hours, so seven hours. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, Snowy. Hey, good job, Snowy. Good job, puppy. Oh. Why is her head all dark? Is that from going underneath the gate? You stinker, puppy. You stinker. Did they get underneath the door again? The bottom wasn't tied? Yeah, and that right here. It was, they, were, they dug under. Oh, so they dug under. Oh, yeah. Those little turds. I don't know if you guys can see that. Unless I put it here, on Here, let me angle. shut the gate. And shut the gate. Let's... Yeah, see that? They can fit right underneath that. You little stinkers, don't climb out there again. Oh, pretty boy. I'm going to go inside. Come on. Uh, I think it's snowing outside. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs> hey, we got the dogs put away, right? Yep. Was that kind of a scary ordeal for you tonight? Yeah. Kind of nervous about not being able to find the dogs for a little bit, huh? You thought they ran away, huh? Yeah. And there's a road nearby, so it's like anything could happen. Danger! Yeah. All right, well, good news we found them. Bad news is, is that they know how to get out. Yeah. We got to do something about that, huh? Yep. Starting tomorrow, we are going to march the dogs down to the sheep and try to get them to live with the sheep. Over the next three days is going to be kind of a challenge to get them to do that, but we're going to see if we can do that. We want those dogs to be able to run around free and just roam around the farm all they want. But they need to stay with the sheep or sleep with the sheep at least. But they're pups. What do you expect? You think they're going to stay with the sheep? You don't think they'll stay with the sheep? No. <laughs> I mean, oh, man. For the first week, they probably won't. Should we just give up? <laughs> no. They'll probably keep going back to the little shed we put them in. But then as we keep taking them back, they'll probably stay. Okay. Well, we'll check on the pups tomorrow. We better go check on your baby brothers. Yeah, they might have got loose. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Roswell's been sick, and now William is starting to feel sick, huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> let's go check on the, the other kids. Okay, we're finally sitting down eating some delicious dinner that Mom made. Mom, thank you. That looks and smells delicious. You're welcome. What is it? It's Mossman awesome Curry. Oh, my gosh. It's one of my favorites. And Christina knocks it out of the park. And we hope that it's going to get the kids feeling better. I don't know if you heard, but William is now Ross. feeling very sick. Yeah. Bubba, oh. tell us how you're feeling. Um, hot and cold at the same time. <laughs> Are you feeling very sick like Mom said? Yeah. He's feeling hot and cold at the same time. Um, conveniently, we got these Foracare thermometers. They're awesome. They are awesome. And let's see if you got a temperature, bro. Well, you better have a temperature, but not a high one. <laughs> 97. How'd you read that? It's on the phone. Oh. 98. Okay. He's just barely started feeling sick, though. So he said he's got a headache. Let's check this. Look at me, Rosie. What? Dad, how did you do that? Rosie's in a low grade fever. He's 99. He's feeling a lot better today, though. Yeah. But he's in the 98, so I think he's doing okay. He's doing a lot better today, that's for sure. 
Let's check everyone's temperature. Mom's in 105. Oh my heck, you're burning hot. <laughs> oh my heck. Low. <laughs> Low, bro. Mm. 98. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so we're all sick here, apparently. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, Dykes fam. We got some more awesomeness headed your way. We're gonna do some stuff with the dogs. We're gonna see how the kids are doing tomorrow. We got some sports headed your way. Yeah. What do we tell these guys? Tomorrow. Peace, Peace out, out. Thanks, thanks, fam. We love you. <laughs>